Hi, my name is Tom Bierbauer. I'm a principal member of the technical staff within the Oracle Coherence Group. I'll be making a presentation on the Coherence Query Explain Plan feature. In this presentation, I'm going to cover the following. I'm going to give a brief overview of the Query Explain Plan and Trace feature. What is its purpose and what is the difference between Explain Plan and Trace? I'll show you how to create a query record and introduce a couple of new Coherence APIs. Then I'll show you a quick demonstration of the feature, including the use of Query Explain Plan feature with the Coherence Query language. What is the Query Explain Plan feature? Query Explain Plan is a new feature in Coherence 371 that allows a user to obtain information related to running a query. This is another feature that helps Coherence users detect which queries are to blame for slow running system. The information about the query is returned in a query record. The information returned in a query record allows the user to see how coherence runs a query, the filters and ordering of the filters involved, any applicable indexes, and the cost and effectiveness of evaluating each filter. In order to obtain a query record, the user passes in a special aggregator called a query recorder. This aggregation can be done in one of two different modes, explain plan or trace. Explain plan returns a record that contains the steps or filters that would be evaluated for the query, along with information about each step, like the estimated cost to evaluate each filter. Trace actually executes the query and returns a record containing the actual steps of the query. The information for each step includes the effectiveness of applying that filter. In other words, how well did the application of the filter reduce the set of entries being evaluated for the query? As mentioned on the previous slide, the Query Explain Plan feature uses a query recorder, which is a special aggregator passed into the invocable map aggregate. The query recorder serves two purposes. One, it signals coherence to build and return a query record for a query based on the passed in filter. And two, it aggregates the partial query record results returned from coherence members. The query recorder can be constructed to produce either an explain plan or query trace. Now I'll be doing a short demo to show how to set up a query recorder and obtain a query record. I'll show both an explain plan and a trace and go over the results from the query record. I'll also show you how to use the query explain plan with coherence query language. Here we have a couple of tests that will demonstrate the use of the query explain plan and trace feature. Note that these tests don't actually assert anything. I'm simply using a test framework to help drive the demo. The first test will demonstrate the use of explain and will get a cache, add an index to the cache, populate the cache with some test data, create a query recorder with type explain, create a complex filter, an all filter composed of an or filter and some equal filters, obtain a query record by running an aggregation passing the filter and the recorder, and display the contents of the query record. So if we run the test, The test framework will start up a server, then the cache will be created and populated and the aggregation will be run. If we look at the results, the steps of the query record, we can see that there is one step for every filter used in the test. For each step we can see if any index was available. In this case, there was an index available for the equals filter on age, which we can tell by referencing the index lookup table. This table shows us the index description, as well as the description of the extractor used to look it up, and whether or not the index was ordered. We can also see the estimated cost for each filter step. This cost is the value returned from index aware filter calculate effectiveness, and is used to help order the filter steps for greatest efficiency. In this case, we can see that the filter steps with an applicable index had the lowest cost. This next test is very similar to the last test, but will demonstrate the use of trace. In this test, we will create a query recorder, this time with the type trace. So if we run the test, the test framework will start up a server, the cache will be created and populated, and the aggregation will be run. 
we look at the results, we can see that like the explain plan record, there are steps for every filter used in the test. In fact, with the trace, we may see additional filter steps. This is because an aggregation with a trace type query recorder actually runs the query. The first step is to attempt to apply indexes. If during the phase the filter does not fully evaluate the remaining keys using the index information, it must return a filter that can complete the task in an iterating fashion. These remaining filters are also shown as steps. In this demo, the second all filter and equal filters that it contains. Like with the explain results, the trace record results show any applicable indexes. Also, the trace record shows the effectiveness of applying each filter step. This value shows how effective a filter was in reducing the set of entries. For example, on the third line we can see that the equals filter for age equals 16 reduced the set of entries from 1500 to 150 or 90 percent. The results also show the duration in milliseconds for each step. The last demo I'd like to show is using the Query Explain Plan feature with the Coherence Query language. I'll start out with a little test program to create and populate the cache. Then I'll bring up the Coherence Query Language command line. And you can see that if I do a simple select statement like select star from this date where date is greater than 10 and month is greater than 6, it will return a bunch of rows. Now if I do an explain plan for that select statement, we can see the resulting record. And the same thing for trace. 